If we observe the ability for the great toe, the largest toe, to raise up in the air as well as pull down toward the ground, we can see that the toe has the ability to move in two locations. The first location is where the toe itself meets up with the bones of the middle, middle foot, as well as the ability for the toe to bend at its joint in the middle of the actual shaft of the toe itself, seen here. Individuals that have repetitive complications in the foot oftentimes have a very difficult time bending solely at this joint here. A lot of individuals with plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, as well as other complications of the foot like neuropathies, oftentimes when attempting to pull the foot, the, the toes down rather, flex in this joint here as seen in this movement here. To appropriately try to bend the toe back down toward the ground, one should attempt to keep the entire length of the toe straight while preventing movement in this joint here. If one cannot isolate movement in this joint and they experience bending here, a simple remedy can be to take any type of straight edge. This can be a book, a ruler, a shoehorn, etc. Now in this example, we're going to utilize this straight edge here to, to position underneath the toe and push down against this straight edge with that reinforcement. Now if one is inclined to bend at this toe when they flex their toe, the straight edge will help train the muscles to activate movement from this joint while keeping the rest of the toe straight. Now one can use a straight edge for literally hundreds of these repetitions in attempt to regain movement from the first joint rather than the middle joint. Without any equipment at all, if one has the ability to grab with their finger, they can isolate movement from this joint here by locking the joint. This too can help an individual learn how to engage this movement of the big toe with a muscle specifically referred to as flexor hallucis brevis. As one does hundreds of repetitions over a two week interval, they can then try to isolate the movement without the reinforcement of a straight edge or their own hand. So again, isolated movement within this joint, disallowing the bend from this joint, can greatly remedy a lot of our most common foot complications.